This part is symmetric about this front plane and we can draw the profile of this part in the front plane and extrude it. When you extrude it, we need to use the mid plane option so that we have the plane in the middle. Um, and when you're extruding it, we'll use this contour based extrusion. So we'll start creating a part and this is a millimeter part so we make sure that the unit is a millimeter and we use the front plane as my sketching plane and extrude. And now we have to draw the profile and we'll have the cylinder centered at the origin and we'll use the rectangle tool to draw the block and you see here there's a corner cut here we can make the corner later but i'll just create another block another rectangle here and let's just trim it out and we'll add the dimensions so out of dimension the diameter is 41 and inner hole diameter is 22.23 the length of this block is 76 up until to the uh, center of this hole and the uh, low width is 51 so 76 for this one and 51 and the height of this block is we assume that the center of this cylinder is horizontally aligned with the top surface of this block. So the height will be 38. So its dimension is 38. And this one is 16. So the height, the tip is 16. So it's fully constrained. So we will extrude it, but because it has multiple regions, uh, there's no preview. So we have to select uh, which contour we want to extrude. Uh, because the block width and the cylinder has different width in extrusion, so we have to extrude them separately. Uh, we'll extrude cylinder first. So we select the cylinder region, the pipe, and the width is 44. And we need to extrude in mid plane option so that this plane is in the middle, so that they remain symmetric about the front. Okay, now we need to extrude the block part. So we need to reuse that sketch. So expand the feature tree and expand the previous extrusion and select the sketch we just created and clear the sketch and select that region and the width is so width is not shown in here but we know the radius of this outer cylinder which is 17 so it's a diameter, the width is the diameter of this cylinder. So it's going to be 17 times 2 will be the width. And of course, we have to select the mid plane option. And make sure merge result is selected so that those two solids are combined. All right, and then let's create the cylindrical part here. So we will create an extrusion on here and let's look at normal to it. So just press the space key and click on normal to. And let's draw an arc here. So we'll use this center point arc and move your cursor near the midpoint and the midpoint highlights. So click on there, that's the, for the center point, and starting from one end and move to the other. This is a my circle. And you need to close it uh, with a line. So it's always a good idea to close the profile 
when you extrude it or extrude the cup. So we need to extrude it and we need to flip it. So we can type in the depth of this thickness which was 16 here but then we don't want to have two different 16 uh, dimensions show up. I <coughs> only want to have one dimension so instead I can choose uh, up to surface option and select the bottom surface so that you can only extrude it up until the surface so even if I change this width of the extrusion this uh, cylinder will match that depth and now we let's just create this pad area the uh, disk so we extrude it here and use the circle and move our cursor on the circle here and automatically pops up the center so we snap it to that center and the diameter of the pad will be 25 and its height is 3 so we dimension 25 and height will be 3 millimeter okay and we need to add these two holes and both are through all holes so we can create two holes separately uh, for the sake of time we'll just use one um, extrude cut for both holes uh, so it's it'll be convenient to use the higher uh, surface as a sketching plane so we'll use the extrude cut and create a circle for a circle and there's another circle here and as you can see in the drawing it has two X that means this hole and that hole share the same diameter which is 11 millimeter so uh, we'll get normal to the sketch and we add the constraints, select both of both holes together and make them equal size so we only need one dimension which is 11 they can be shared and this hole has to be horizontally aligned with this hole so we select this hole, center of the holes, and horizontal constraint. And what's left? We need to specify its location. So that location can be found from this dimension that is 41 millimeter from the other hole. So add a dimension. From this hole to this hole, select the two holes, and that will be 41. So the sketch is fully constrained. Now we can make a cut through all. That creates both holes. And what's left is the uh, slot, the bottom. So we'll use extrude cut, select this surface as a sketching plane, hit the space bar, normal two, and use this rectangular tool to draw a rectangle and the dimension, the width is 16. The dimension with a uh, location of the slot is nine from the left hand and the height of the slot is 6 now we want to cut it all the way through although it's hidden but because we don't have we don't know how far this will be cut if there's no um, 
depth specification, we assume that it cuts all the way through. So we choose through all. Cut is made. And lastly, we need to add a fillet, and the fillet is in rounds radius 3 millimeters. So here's a fillet, constant radius 3 millimeters, and we select this edge and that edge, and maybe these two side edges. Then add the base of this path. 